Hello friends, how are you doing today? My name is Sola Olakwande and I have here with me a very good friend. He's not basically into solar. <laughs> or are you? You <laughs> <laughs> like the benefits. Yes, yes, I, I like the benefits because of the power system in Nigeria, how we, you know, we struggle with power and electricity in Nigeria, so the benefits are good. Is <laughs> <laughs> yourself and what you do basically? Yeah, my name is Gideon and I am a product motion designer. There that as a graphic designer and then over time I evolved into product motion designer. That's that about that is a like a brief intro about how I started out. What's your intake? What's what's your thoughts about the dollar and how does it affect you? I believe as a Nigerian it affects um, basically everything. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the one of the things that I, I believe it's not just about the dollar itself. Yeah. But how Nigerians themselves, how they perceive changes. Just like when I want to buy, um, you want to buy beans. <laughs> Basically, the very basic things mm -hmm. that you usually would buy at a certain price. Yeah. And you hear the market woman telling you, ah, dollar has gone up, therefore, something that you used to buy for 200 naira will now be maybe 400 naira. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I think for me, it's the dollar is one thing. The, 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 the discrepancy between the dollar and the naira is one thing. Yeah. But how we as Nigerians treat each other because of changes yeah. is another yeah. thing. Right? So, uh, yeah. but, but do you think those changes will not actually be there? There are human beings at the end of the day. <laughs> yes, there are human beings, but they should be empathy. Mm. It should be empathy with how we deal with ourselves. The dollar has its impact yeah. in, um, you know, in exports and imports. Mm -hmm. Yes, but there are certain things that are made locally in Nigeria that the, the impact of the dollar does not affect. Yeah. And the, even even if there is an effect on that, it yeah. is very minimal, mm -hmm. it's negligible. Mm -hmm. You can actually overlook it. Yeah. Understand? But I still see Nigerians, particularly those locally, people just taking advantage of that hike or that that major discrepancy between the naira and the dollar and you know taking advantage of it to increase the price of mm -hmm. basically everything yeah and but you 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 get jobs with um in foreign currencies uh, yes it's it's good uh. <laughs> it's good because you can of course the, there's a change mm -hmm. uh, when you uh, yeah when the dollar keeps rising Mm. The Naira keeps, you know, getting devaluated. There's a, there's an import. Once I want to send you a thousand dollars, it's now bigger than it used to be. Mm -hmm. But well, somehow you you still be viewed as a local champion <laughs> because <laughs> out here in Nigeria you are, you are balling and you are doing well. But you, when you now compare that impact, the impact you want to actually, you want to travel abroad, mm -hmm. it doesn't change the fact that you still have to pay so high. Yeah. To, you know, yeah. go to other countries. To you other know, countries. You yeah. still be, you are still limited. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can be here in Nigeria and enjoy all the benefits of that, and um, the dollar increasing over the yeah. Naira, but yeah. it doesn't still change how it affects you when you want to leave the country or when yeah. you want to do something out there. Yeah. So the impact is still. So I will not say, oh. Well, yeah, we are totally you are excited. For this. No, 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 no. If the Nigerian economy was doing well, yeah, they, they would be more benefit. There would still be more benefits, mm -hmm. you know, with the Nigerian economy if it was doing quite well. Yeah, quite well. So I won't. All right. Yeah. yeah. So let's basically jump right into it. Um, this is the best part. We are getting to like share the prices. So what we do um, basically is we get into some of the prices that have basically changed in the solar market, mm -hmm. and. Um, I think during the week I got a lot of uh, some people that you know also talk to me. Uh, they, they they have this specific battery that they have in mind, okay. and some of them get to like share them new um, as the week unfolds. So basically, I'll just jump right in, and I hope um, it's not too much for you because I know that you're a really 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 busy person, and <laughs> but we're here together. <laughs> it's a delicious man, It's good for you. <laughs> All right, so here's a brief summary. This is a weekly overview of solar equipment from solar panels to batteries and inverters, everything you basically need to know. I'll keep sharing, talking about this, you know, as we as we go forward. Maybe I will need to share it at a point. Um, solar price hikes and fluctuations. This is due to inflation and the rise in the dollar, top tier and local equipment, prices for the most reliable and local brands. 
So I started doing local brands from last week. Um, I, I didn't want to, but I know a lot of people that said they actually want to see some of the local brands, what are the prices and stuff. So I had to put some local brands in there. And the most approximate price from distributors. So prices were compared from multiple Nigerian distributors to give an awesome overview of the sol of solar prices. So from one distributor to another distributor. So everything i basically matched every single one of them together in one research and um i got um, the best an overview price for you solar we have j solar we have longi we have canadian solar we have jinko solar we have grobert inverter we have day inverter we have pylon tech lithium we have expert inverter we have mombat battery we have youth lithium battery we have tiger battery we have okaya afri power twin tech and felicity so felicity came in um um due to you know somebody actually jumped in the comments and said um why don't you feature your felicity batteries i think was that the question actually or you just wanted to know um if what if i actually supported felicity batteries and um as we go along the way i will, I will let you know all right so here's era solar we have era solar currently this week the 370 watt mono era solar goes for 120,250 naira, which is at um, 325 naira per watt. And I'll share the reason why I share in per watt, and you can check my previous videos um, for, um, to know the reason why. And um, as at last week, it was at 285 naira per watt. What's, what's the current rate of the dollar now? I think it's about 1,000. 1,700 As of now, something. last time I checked 1,700 1, I think that's a, like, it's a really safe place to put it 1,700 Wow <laughs> Last week it was 1,600 Yes, 1,600 Yeah, yeah. yeah. amazing all right, so um, as I said last week, it was 285 Naira per watt and this week, 325 Naira per watt. All right, so and we have J Solar, um, the 565 watt goes for 183,625 Naira. Um, this week, it's 325 Naira per watt compared to last week at 280 Naira per watt. All right, we have Jinko Solar. 435 watts um, goes for 142,245 Naira. Um, um, basically 327 Naira per watt compared to last week at 285 Naira per watt. Longi Solar also um, at 148,500 Naira for the 450 watt and um it's basically 330 naira per watt this week compared to last week at 290 naira per watt you can see the huge point there like it's yeah. it's pretty amazing like, <laughs> like a it's a really oh it's really big all right so um canadian solar we have um the 660 watt at 224,400 naira, which is 340 naira per watt compared to last week at 320 naira per watt. That's, that's like a 20 naira difference. That's not as much as I think the others that we have here. This is close to 40 naira, 40 naira difference. Um, so as we move ahead, that's for Canadian solar. We also have the grow out inverter. This is our this is the inverter section. Um, grow at ES5048 volts, 6000 watts MPPT goes for 850,000 Naira currently. As at last week, it was at 780,000 Naira. Imagine that kind of huge one there. And we also have the expert inverter MKS2, um, 5 kilowatts, the PV is 4400 and at 1,050,000. As at last week, it was at 950,000 Naira. I think in some other places it's about a million, but I kind of got like the most approximate price, like I said, which is like from multiple sources. So um, you would not get, you might not get these actual prices when you go out there. So it might be lesser than one million fifty, and it might be more than that in even most cases. We are buying from a local store or from the installer directly. The prices will not be the same as this. It definitely will. So you might want to be conscious of that. But that's basically around you know, the price that you can actually look out for. All right. So and we have the day 
inverter PV6500 currently out of stock so I checked multiple sources um, some of these inverters and you would find them like just like that and th the reason is because uh, like it's top tier it's one of the best out there a lot of people are basically ba basically using the day currently and it will be wise for them to have gotten it earlier that's one of the things i actually actually also wanted to talk about get your inverters earlier don't just get it get it now <laughs> that's like the best way to put it yeah, you know we were talking we were talking about it some days back that it's actually going to climb to about 2000 2000 naira um, per dollar the way it's going so it's the best time to buy something is to actually buy it that's the best advice you will get all right so we have the pylon tech UP5000 with a 100,000 Naira coin. That's 2,100,000 Naira compared to last week at 2 million Naira. We have a lot of changes for last week. I think some of the changes came later last week, but I didn't make the video. That was when the dollar climbed to like 1,600. Uh, 1, and um, it was, yeah, because it climbed, um, now distributors have to now start to change their prices and stuff like that and many times you reach out to them and you won't be able to get the actual price because their prices are in yeah they are still reviewing their prices and stuff and it's a crazy market out there all right so um we have the youth power youth power is currently not reviewed they don't they've not reviewed the price but as of last week it was two million two hundred and fifty thousand naira and um also some of you said you wanted to get the price like of the felicity and stuff so we have the five kilowatt felicity battery fl LPBF 48100 is currently at 1,720,000 naira. I knew when the felicity was seven around 750,000 naira. And wow. crazy. And one of the reasons that, one of the things that I actually thought, you know, the reasons why people actually buy the felicity is because it's actually cheap. But look at this huge climb. How many people can actually afford this right now? And it will affect them more because it's it's not something it doesn't look feasible anymore. Like and I you know when it comes to the felicity, I don't recommend it. And that's the truth. I, I'll put it out there. Even on my, my my YouTube channel, I always tell people I straight up, I don't recommend the felicity. If you buy the felicity, you are buying at your own risk. And I've seen people come back to say, ah, it's not as good as this, is that. That's your business. But the only reason the felicity is actually coming on my channel today is because people ask for it. So seeing this huge climb to about one million, like this is close to two million already. Right? What the heck? <laughs> that's pretty amazing. So that's uh, one million seven hundred twenty thousand. I want to check, you know, check with your local stores. This actually came from multiple sources, like I said, not necessarily a distributor. Actually, I actually you know, I had to call a lot of. You know calling a lot of folks to actually get the price i don't know what the distributors are actually doing i'm not yeah yeah some of them actually say they are distributors actually so why i know that they are not you know they are not in depth they're not strong guys all right so we also have the felicity inverter the hybrid inverter 5 kva um i always like to do something with that route so you can get like an overview of what the price is like um the 5 kva goes for one million 30,000 so you might actually want to check that out and we have the Mombat as of last week it was 350,000 this week is 380,000 there and some of my local stores prices have changed as of last week the Tiger battery was 300,000 this week is 320,000 there and the Okaya as of last week was 280,000 there this week is 300,000 there um we have afri power also afri power was 290,000 naira last week to this week it's 310,000 naira for the 220 amp hour afri power Whew. and also we have the 220 amp hour ado battery ado goes for i think ado is actually a pretty good battery i've seen it i've seen it work um this goes for 290,000 it was 290,000 naira last week and it's currently at 320,000 naira we also have twin tech um twin tech was 95,000 there last week and this week it's 110,000 there that's for the 320 watt solar panel twin tech all right all right so and afri cell we have um 300 watt solar panel 
as of last week was 85,000 naira and this week it's 100,000 naira. From the local stores, there are not so much changes. I, I don't, I actually, you know, I was actually trying to get, you know, the reasons why, but I think um, some of them have not, you know, really updated, you know, their prices to that point and stuff. So, like I said, they are local stores. And they know that something is actually changing, but are they really, really that up to date? And maybe it might affect some of them. They are actually going back to the um, to the market to actually say they want to buy, they want to restore. restore. To, to, yeah. <laughs> it might actually affect them. Come back, come back like live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is uh, this is pretty amazing. It's the times that we're in, and I hope you're actually um, living your best. Don't. Yeah, you might think about it. You might think, oh, what's happening and stuff like that. But what do you think? Do you actually want to just give somebody that comfort or something? Just say something, something of comfort to somebody out there. <laughs> I just say, just do what you can and live, in, you know, live under under your means. Like, don't live above your means. Mm. Don't live within your means. Like, live below your means, actually. Okay. Because, uh, it's an actual family <laughs> in Nigeria. Um, but I know that the, yeah, it's, it, the farming calls for either opportunities, mm-hmm. there's hunger, then yeah, there's opportunities. So the opportunities to you know, take advantage of even in this farm. Mm. So amazing. Yeah. I think I want to see the opportunity side. That one gingers me. <laughs> I want the ginger. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And thank you, um, Gideon, for actually showing up. My pleasure.